My friends and I almost died on a roller coaster. Before I begin, just in case TikTok does shut down, here are my other socials and make sure to sub to my YouTube because I'm always posting story times there. So this story happened years ago when all my friends and I were finally old enough to wander amusement parks alone with no parents, nothing, just us. So if you're from New Jersey or even on the East Coast, you know about the amusement park Six Flags Great Adventure. I think this park has like the tallest and fastest roller coaster in the world. So if you haven't been there, you gotta go. But that's completely besides the point. So this story happened during the summer and it was on a weekday which meant that the park was not crowded at all there were no lines and you could ride the rides multiple times so we were having a time and once again if you are from new jersey you know about the roller coaster el toro so el toro is this wooden coaster that was built in 2006 and honestly i don't even know how it's still standing but you know what good for her and this story revolves around El Toro because y'all, that's the coaster that almost killed us. So I remember my friends and I just got done riding hella roller coasters. And at this point, we're hyped. We're like, you know what? Let's go on more. Let's have some more fun. That's when we decided to walk all the way down to the other side of the park where this big wooden coaster is standing. El Toro. So we get there and immediately there's no line, which is crazy because there's always a line for El Toro. So we walk onto the line and we head up to where the seats area is and we get to where we usually sit, which is towards the back. So where I'm sitting, I'm not in the very far back. I'm like three seats before the back. And where I'm sitting, there's this mom and her son sitting right in front of us. So keep them in the back of your mind. So we sit down, the workers, they come over, they check our restraints and boom, we're ready to go. You know, we're sitting up there giggling, cackling, cause we're ready to have the best time of our lives on this ride. So so we thought. So the ride starts, it leaves the station, and it starts to go up the lift hill. So with El Toro, keep in mind that when it goes on the lift hill, it starts off slow, and then it proceeds to go faster to the top. So we're going up slow, and then it begins to get faster. It's going up, and then we hear a pop, and the ride stops on the hill. So when it suddenly stops, it also like jerks us forward, so our bodies kind of like fly from the seat a little bit. <laughs> and at this point, we're confused. We're looking around like, what the heck is going on? And yes, I'm aware that stuff like this happens. Trust me, I know. I used to be a big Big roller coaster lover <laughs> well I still am but but like in this moment we knew that something did not seem right so this whole time we're wondering is it because someone had their phone out or something but it wasn't so we're all sitting in our seats you know we turn we're waving to the people below us because now there's like a crowd forming to see what's going on and at this point we're still stuck like time is moving and we're just still sitting there so as time goes on we start to get aggravated because mind y'all the sun is literally beaming on us it's a hot day there's no cover but to lighten the mood we decide to make some jokes so we start cracking jokes we start making scenarios we're like oh my gosh this is final destination which you know what we shouldn't have said that because we low-key manifested it and i felt so bad because the boy in front of us he started to cry because this was his first ever roller coaster and right now he's stuck and he's thinking that he's gonna die <laughs> so we stopped making jokes and i'd say about five minutes later that's when we noticed that a maintenance worker starts to walk up the hill so the worker walks up to where we are and he immediately starts apologizing and he gives us an update he basically tells us that they are working on the issue and because it's gonna take such a long time, he's actually gonna help us get off the roller coaster. So when he says that everyone is relieved because we're like, okay, at least we're not staying up here till God knows when. So he tells us that he'll be right back. And I guess that was him, you know, going back downstairs to get a partner to help him with getting us out of the seats. And I kid y'all not, as soon as that man walked back into the station, tell me why the roller coaster started up. Mind y'all, we were just told that we are going to get let off the ride, which means that something, you know, bad is happening to the roller coaster where we should not be on it. So we're going up the lift hill and I've never heard screams of terror this loud in my life. And at this point, I'm thinking to myself, our restraints are going to lift up. I'm thinking that as soon as it goes down the first hill, it's going to open up and we're just going to fly out. So I join in on the screaming because I'm scared for my life. My friends are crying. The boy in front of me is having this wild panic attack. Like... It's not real right now. And the reason why I was so scared was because a similar situation literally happened. I believe it was in Texas and she went down. I think she like went down the hill and then her like seat opened up and she flew out. You can look it up. It's from Six Flags, I believe, but it was an insane incident. And I just thought that that was going to happen to us. Then I was also thinking about how literally a week before I went to Six Flags with my family and a bolt ended up falling out of El Toro and they had to close the ride. So at this point, my head is spiraling and I'm gripping onto the seat right now. It's finally at the top and the ride goes down the first drop. When I tell y'all this ride felt faster than usual, it felt like we were going to just run off the track. At one point, the ride goes over this little lift hill and I swear 
where to you the back seats like lifted up a little bit so we're literally getting flung on this ride like getting whipped back and forth and it just does not feel good like that's how you knew something was off so at this point i'm accepting my fate you know if i die if i get flung off this ride at least i'll be riding roller coasters forever in the afterlife but finally the ride ends people are crying i lost my voice my friends and i we are petrified so we got off and we actually ended up getting a picture of us on the ride and i wish i still had it it's somewhere in this room if i find it i will show you guys because the look on our faces, the way we were gripping the chair was insane. Like, we genuinely thought that we were gonna die. But after that, they ran the roller coaster with nobody on. They did some tests, and I'm pretty sure they closed it for the rest of the night. And y'all wanna know what's crazy? I think it was two years ago on El Toro. The roller coaster cart literally derailed from the track, and some people had to go to the hospital. It was this whole big thing. It's, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> If you find the photo, can you show us an update? Yes, I most certainly can show you a picture of us nearly dying on El Toro because after searching for hours and digging, I finally found it. Oh my God. So y'all, here it is. This is me and my friends. We literally thought it was the end. Here's me literally gripping onto this seat. Like, do you see my face? This is my other friend. Like, we are petrified at this point, you know? <laughs> Then there's these boys in the back. I totally forgot about them, but look at their face. <laughs> Yo, we really thought that we were gonna die. No, like, it's actually so bad. No, but, like, it's all in the face, y'all. They're gonna kill me when they see that I posted this, but I have to show y'all proof. And, y'all, this picture was taken right after the whole, like, stopping on the lift hill and then it went down. This was when it was taken. So, right here in this moment, we're over here thinking that our seats are gonna go up. <laughs> <laughs> it was insane, but I'm not gonna lie. I would relive this moment. So yeah Here is y'all's proof and if you did not see the story time go watch it right now because it's actually crazy like Six flags <laughs> Y'all had us scared y'all had us begging for our lives <laughs> Hey guys! Thank you so much for tuning into this video. It was absolutely insane. It was so crazy. And the fact that I had picture evidence of it happening is just... Whoa. Now, even though I said we almost got killed on that ride, trust and believe you will catch me at Six Flags this summer riding El Toro and other roller coasters, because... YOLO, you only live once. But guys, make sure to follow my other socials and stay tuned for more videos because I have a lot more in store for y'all. It's going to be crazy. Also, I'm gonna put a link in the description. There you could submit your own story times if you want me to tell them. So yeah, go ahead, write up something, tell me some of your craziest stories and see if you get featured on my channel or even on TikTok. <laughs> All right, bye guys. I will see y'all later and hopefully I'll see you again soon.